Well, the big issue is that if you are handling EU citizens' data and it is coming from the EU out of the EU and back in again, you see what I mean? Because we live in a global world, right? I mean, all our data is getting distant while we're speaking, isn't it? The EU updated what they called its standard contractual clauses. So we had a lot of fun in September getting all our digital marketers up to speed with what contracts they needed to use when. So if you did get your act together since 2018 and you're handling EU citizens' data and you're not in the EU, you've got to get yourself up to speed with that. That's a whole other podcast in order to handle stuff lawfully. And again, your client's got no idea. But that's not mean you should have no idea. Just because they can't drive doesn't mean you need to keep driving into walls, does it? One of you's got to be going round obstacles, or there's definitely going to be trouble. That's already happened. What is happening next in the UK is as a result of Brexit or a consequence, we are now looking at what are we doing. So we may go on being equivalent, but not identical. And as has been the habit of the last few years, our arguments that this is as good as are not always met with agreement. At the moment, the UK is on the EU's list of countries that have adequate data privacy laws, partly because it's the European ones we've got. At the end of the year, that will be reviewed. And if our new proposed changes mean that we're not viewed that way, there will need to be different contracts for sending data in and out of UK to EU. The main difference is if you're not in the EU, you have to agree which EU country your data subject, the people whose data you're collecting in the EU, can have a row with you in if they think you're not respecting their rights. So, for example, if you're in Georgia and you are collecting data for you know for someone in France or Germany or whatever, you need to agree that if the data subjects think you're not doing it right, that the argument will happen in the appropriate EU country. Ideally, one where at least one of you speaks the language, because having arguments in country languages you don't understand is above most of us's pay grade, I think.